everyone down there right now. I f***ing hate you. Good morning. Today, or afternoon, it's a massive afternoon. It's a massive afternoon, it's 5 p.m. It's Saturday, I've been in work, and it's been the best day ever. We're gonna talk about someone's good deed, and today is not mine. It's Spider-Man's! Well, it's actually not Spider-Man's, <laughs> but this is the good deed. And it's mine, it's so mine. It's actually the shops, but really, I own the shop, so ow. <laughs> so I'm having um, a bit of a horrible situation today. It's meant to be my friend's birthday party. It was their birthday last week, and usually what's happened was they would, because him and his one of his best friends have birthdays so close to each other, they would share a birthday party and they'd do it in Manchester. We've gone once, had a great time. Honestly, lovely, lovely people. It's not about the people, it's lovely. And this time they're having a special birthday occasion where they're having one in Manchester and one in Liverpool. I said, I can't make it to the Manchester one, but I'll be to the Liverpool one. My socialising has actually been really good lately. I it just has I, I don't know what it is it, it just has it's been good and uh so i didn't think anything of it and then this week's been a pretty hectic for me i've had three birthdays to celebrate in one week it's been hard and i am um, i think i've just kind of run thin on it like i've got an ulcer i'm quite sure it's a bit gross but i've got an ulcer in my mouth i'm breaking out into spots i'm exhausted i'm tired i'm stressed out and I think I'm just so drained that I've become very susceptible to being ang anxious again. And I just don't want to go out, if I'm being honest. Bluntly spot, I do not want to go out. It's a Saturday. I don't like going out drinking on a Saturday anyway. And the idea of going out where so 30 people are going out together in a massive group where I won't know most people is making me want to throw up. And... I don't even mean like, oh, I can't be bothered. I mean like, I physically am panicking right now. My body is shaking, my chest is tight, I can't breathe. I am probably about one bad thought away from breaking down into tears. And I just, I'm really struggling with it. I've spoken to a couple of people already and I'm actually calming down a lot now to be able to talk about it. Before I was like starting to get violent, like I was like, just lashing out verbally at people because they it's hard the hardest thing is not to have anxiety the hardest thing is to have people not understand uh, because if you've never had anxiety you don't understand how we feel and one of the best ways that i was able to describe it today is when a normal person is about to bungee jump or jump out of an airplane to skydive you have this uncontrollable dread you are standing on the edge of a bridge or the edge of a plane and you look down and you think, why would I jump? To jump would be the most stupidest thing on the planet. And if I jump, I will die. And all of a sudden your body just reacts in a way that you go, I'm not gonna jump. You know, every single person has had that on the first jump. You all go, I'm not gonna do it. Even if it's for a split second, your body panics because it goes into survival mode. And this survival mode is saying, don't be an idiot and jump off a bridge or an airplane. People with anxiety have that when it goes to make a phone call or buy some milk in a new shop they've never been to. You know, people with anxiety, their brain thinks they are about to do something that is dangerous for them. And it sounds so silly, even to people with anxiety, to talk about it like that. Because you think, well, I know that's silly. I know that's weird. But yet, why is my body still panicking? Why is my chest still tight? Why am I still struggling to breathe? Why am I sweating profusely? And why am I crying? Because it's not in our control. It's our brain thinking there is something wrong and because we don't know what it is, we assume everything is wrong. And therefore, if you don't understand and you're being hostile with us, we will react in the way that you are the thing that's the problem. You are what's wrong and you need to get out of this vicinity because I need this to be a safe and calm environment. I am only really been dealing with my anxiety the like past two years so i am only learning about grounding techniques and breathing techniques and talking myself through things and one of the best things about youtube is that 
I have a voice that I can speak to other people with anxiety or I can just use my camera to talk to so I don't feel that crazy just talking to myself and this is one of those occasions I am really struggling with the idea of going out but in my head if I don't go out I'm a bad friend and if I'm a bad friend because they came to my birthday meal then I don't deserve them as a friend and they're gonna hate me and I'm a flake and no one's ever gonna invite me out again and I actually like going out and I like being social but sometimes I just can't handle it and but it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that I think it's okay. I don't think it's acceptably okay to cancel on someone's birthday night out, but sometimes I have to be more honest with it. What I would have done once upon a time was I would have made an excuse and said that I didn't feel well or that all of for some reason, for whatever reason, I couldn't because it had to be a reason that they couldn't argue with. And I have, I've even faked that the pets I didn't even own have died or something to get out of something i've said someone believe i'm not a good liar that was the problem with my that was the problem with this problem <laughs> i couldn't lie very well and that probably pissed a lot of people off understandably because i'm not respecting them to handle the truth and i have i've already messaged chris this time just being honest saying i have anxiety i'm having a bad attack right now i'm not cancelling but there is a chance I might do. And if I do, can I please meet you for a drink or something and love you and give you drinks and food and it'll be all on me, but it'll just be you and me or whoever wants to come with us at that time. But right now, it might not be an option that I'm there. It would be different if it was a smaller amount of people. To be honest, I probably wouldn't have as much anxiety if it was a smaller amount of people. If I only knew if if it was just gonna be me and like three other people, I'm not gonna let them down. And But when there's 30 people, I do feel like, well one, that's one of the reasons what's causing my anxiety is that there's gonna be 30 people there but also I do feel like well I kind of put myself down when I'm feeling like this anyway I'm feeling like well who would notice me anyway <laughs> oh. anxiety sucks anxiety sucks when you do a personality test and you're 45% introverted and 55% extroverted so a good chunk of the time I'm like my own Brexit right now a good chunk of the time I want to be social I like to be around people I like to laugh and have fun and do fun things and live my life but almost in equal measure I like to sit in my bed and never speak to anyone and sometimes plans clash with when I'm being an introvert and sometimes I've got nothing to do when I want to be an extrovert you know which it's hard it's hard and I've just been moaning for seven minutes about anxiety and stuff. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go. I'm, what I'm, th that was kind of the thing. I was gonna just explain the situation. Um, and now I'm gonna have a shower. Have a shower and see how I feel after that. I might feel much cleaner and better, but it's a bit disgusting because I'm kind of sad. I'm gonna have to wash my hair because it's feeling a bit greasy. Um, I'm trying to train my hair so I don't have to wash it as much because washing your hair isn't that good for you if you do it like every day anyway and it makes your hair dye run not last as long so I'm actually trying not to wash my hair every four days at the moment but it's only been two and I'm like oh no <laughs> I must be extra sweaty at the moment mm. <laughs> so this is how professional I am uh, I have been asked to be on a Skype interview to interview me about my business on YouTube and this and whatnot and uh, I am two hours late for it to be fair it wasn't completely confirmed they did give me a time and a date and the location which is the internet but it wasn't like 100% confirmed and because I hadn't heard anything I didn't and I've been so busy I was just like it's not happening and they just messaged me like two hours later saying ready whenever you are Lucy I was like oh my god I'm so sorry <laughs> they're so polite bless them I was like god if it was me I'd be like where are you bitch <laughs> So yeah, so before I get anything and decide anything about my anxiety today, I gotta do an interview. So maybe that's a good way to just push me into doing stuff today, so there you go. Nothing to see here, I'm just still with my bait. Yeah, it may have been for the shop, but it's been at home for a whole entire week, so. But what can I say? I love him so much! He's mine, he's all mine! Uh, I mean, he's all the shops, but yeah. Uh, I didn't really say what I did, but I didn't actually go out in the end. I ended up having just still a massive anxiety attack and not going out, but I messaged my friend and my friend was really cool with it. And that's the important thing about friends who understand anxiety. 
Well, yeah, it kind of sucked that I didn't go out, and I think I really need to go to the doctors or something and talk to someone about it, but either way. But for now, me and Spider-Man say goodbye.